Yo, what up everybody? This is Mitch Durrell and today I've got something fun for y'all, okay? This is the first installment of a new segment I'm going to be calling Hush, okay? And and you want to hear? You want to hear? You want to hear the official sound of the show? Shh. Let's play it one more time. Shh. Hush. Okay, shout out to my guy Cube Flow. I've been talking about recently, uh, I was on the Not The Same podcast and I said the way I've been dealing with trolls lately is I've just been saying hush, just one word. I usually don't respond to, respond after that because what can you say back to hush? And I'm getting to get my little my little two cents off, but they can't really respond to that. Okay, uh, it's, it's the only way I deal with trolls now uh, and forever. And uh, I I feel like it's been mad productive. I don't end up in these stupid back and forths. So and it's it's hilarious. I can't even front. So QFlo said you should make a segment on your show called Hush. Immediately I said yep I'm doing that immediately went to facebook okay where's where's the place you go to find the most hush worthy comments easy rapzilla facebook <laughs> shout out to rapzilla the rapzilla comments on facebook is the number one place to find these type of comments okay so that's immediately where i went there's two different articles i'm looking at today okay the very first one you ready mccray and master p link up at reach records okay now for y'all that don't know master p is a big figure big mogul in secular hip-hop okay uh shout out to him this is a big deal this is a this is a big deal for lecrae uh no limit ceo and mogul master p pulls up to reach record studios let's see what the people think <laughs> first person says is master p a believer now to be fair this person genuinely just might have wanted to know but it started to make me feel like he was gonna go on to be like Oh, why would Lecrae let him in if he's not a believer? So the second comment is what I like to call a counter troll. Okay, homie says he's black. He has to be a believer. <laughs> I was crying at this because you know the second person is not serious. They are counter trolling the troll. Now, there was not a response to this. The initial commenter doesn't know what to say to that. They're like, is that is is that true? Is that you might be right. Is that is that accurate? Uh, so if he was planning on, like I said, he might not have been, but if he was planning on going on and saying, why would a non-believer be led into reach records? It's been canceled. Okay. He's black. He has to be a believer cancels all that. So shout out to this brother. Uh, I was crying in my office. Okay. Bro, you know what? <laughs> Bro, I thought that was Dwight Howard. I was thinking first Kanye, now Dwight. I'm debating if I'm gonna put a picture of Master P next to me. Uh, I might not, but just look up Master P and tell me if he looks even remotely like Dwight Howard. Like, I don't know if this is hush worthy or just racist <laughs> or just like a, like all black people don't look the same. I'm sorry. We're going to give that a hush though. You need to start studying it up on your black people. The, Dwight Howard. Come on. Come on. And what would be wrong if Dwight Howard wasn't reach records? Come on. That'd be dope. Maybe after losing his daughter, P is ready to turn to Christ. But everything else coming from that from his camp has been far from Christian. If it doesn't have the gospel, it's not Christian. There's no judgment in that. It's just simple truth. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Now, here is on at face value, this is not a bad comment. It it's actually full of some truth. The reason why it's hushworthy to me is because maybe Master P just wanted to hang out with another rapper. You know, maybe he just wanted to chop it up with Lecrae. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You don't have to have, you don't have to go to Lecrae because your daughter passed away and rest in peace because I did not know that. So that was something I learned. But you don't, he wouldn't have to pull up just because of something terrible happening. He doesn't need to go to Lecrae just for prayer. He could have just wanted to, to hang out at Reach Records, check out what Christian hip hop is about. And that is a good thing as well. So even though I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, because like I said, there is some truth in here. This didn't need to be said because now if it's not that he's going because of needing prayer is wrong, he could have just gone to hang out. So we're going to give it a <laughs> hush. I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry. You were close, but no. Next article. This is the second article. Paper Plains artist MIA declares her newly found love for Jesus with latest single. Okay. Now, reading that, first thing that comes to my mind, this is great. MIA, I hadn't heard a song from her in a long time, but it didn't matter to me, right? I'm hearing that a, a secular artist has now found Christ. That's great. That's amazing. I want that to happen for everybody, right? Let's see what the people think. 
I'm very confused. Where in the song does she talk about Jesus? Now, I'm going to be real. I did not listen to the song. I probably need to listen to the song. But I didn't feel like I needed to listen to the song because I took the headline at face value that she is now openly, whether it's in interviews, whether it's in, in her music, has, has made it clear that she now follows Christ. I don't care if the song says that explicitly, as long as the song is not super worldly, the song could be about anything. It could be about her life. It could be about whatever. Um, so why is your first comment not, oh my goodness, this is great. She's found God. She's found Christ. Why is your first comment, I'm very confused. Where in this song does she mention Jesus? Because we in Christian hip hop call that Jesus counting. That's the Jesus quota in your song. She didn't have enough Jesus in her song, so she cannot be a follower of Jesus. Second comment's on the same, you know, I didn't even know she still made music, to be honest. Also, I did not get anything about Jesus in this track, LOL. So why is that the focus? It bothers me that that is the focus because let's just say she happened to find the article and say, let's see what the, the Christian hip hop community thinks. Oh, I didn't say Jesus enough in this song, so my faith isn't valid. Well, maybe I maybe it's not valid. Maybe I should leave, right? Like, do you see why that deserves a hush, hush? And here's why. Here's why. Because it's important the way we portray our genre, right? Fans, other artists, media. So Rapzilla did a cool job of putting the article out there. Maybe she might see it. Maybe other people will see it. This could be a movement. More secular artists. We want as many as possible to do this. But not if it's going to seem like, oh, there's these rules where if I don't say Jesus enough, I can't, my faith cannot be valid. That's not cool. So, of course, my comment under this specific article was, all y'all need to hush. And that's just what I've been doing lately. I've been going into Rapzilla's comment sections. <laughs> and just finding the ones that are overly critical and just full of, full of, full of hush worthy comments and just just letting the people know y'all need to y'all need to hush okay this has been edition one of hush uh i'm gonna have a lot of fun doing this and to be to be completely honest i don't walk around telling people to hush in real life um that's kind of mean this is a little bit maybe rude but i'm not doing it for no reason this is supposed to be funny and lighthearted, but i'm also trying to teach you why i'm telling you know these people to hush because you can learn something uh as for both of these maybe master p just wanted to hang out with lecrae there's nothing wrong with that maybe mia is uh in love with jesus now but doesn't feel the need to mention him in every single song that is fine as well we don't want to scare people away from us you know the whole goal is to fellowship with them and maybe we can bring them to us okay so i appreciate you guys please think before you tweet, before you comment on Facebook, or else you're going to get hit with a hush. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Peace.